Who's this going to be? Oh, it's just the Korra. Brilliant. Well, I guess that was a pretty big build-up for a whole episode, uh, but I'm sorry about that. That's unfortunate. Um, I'm just going to reload and uh, probably head back to to uh, to over here because I mean there was it was un unfortunate we didn't we didn't seem to, to find anything at Beta Noas, so we'll move on. Um, Beta Nail, or whatever it's called. Um, I'm still a bit, you know, we did find uh, a ship leaving the system, uh, one single ship. Um, it's strange because normally, um, you, when you when you find a found a new race, you you find at least you know a couple of ships orbiting and uh, things like that. Maybe I should have checked out the first planet though, like I am here. I can't remember if I did. So there's nothing there. It's weird. I I'm so confident it's Beta Noas that I need to go to. He was flying off in the sort of southeasterly direction. I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't know if that means he's flying to maybe areas patrol two and three. I don't know. So maybe they've got a connection to those areas. I'm not sure. But it seems strange that they would there would be one there, and I haven't found one anywhere else. So maybe I want to head back there. That's what I'm going to do. Because I don't know. I just feel. That's the place I need to be looking. So there's a couple of ships coming for us now. Pretty sure those are just Koras. It's are moving pretty much the same speed, and uh, there was a Korra already on our on our tail anyway. Um, so yeah, there's nothing here, and the, uh, yeah, exactly. There's no real homeworldy sort of planet that's very like sort of mildly hot or anything. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, oh my God, here we go. Oh, this this is it. Could this be it? Yes. There we go. Those are definitely the ships that we saw last time. Here we go. Oh my god. The Lurg. They seem pretty hostile, which is not great. Oh my god, they look pretty scary actually, and I don't know what's going on in their background, it's a pretty strange home world, it looks pretty bad. Um, we're on a rescue mission, we must pass. So if they know why we're here, then it must be because of the Shafixtius, so this must be where it happened, surely. And um, they know who I am as well, which is quite strange. What the hell is going on? Can you answer some questions before we obviously going to start fighting? The curious ape. Ask your questions. Right, okay. Um, what can you tell us about our species? Oh, yes, we, we knew that already. Let's try something different. What about your ship? is a lower life form, genetically altered, designed by us to survive in the void of space. Okay, that's interesting. That's different to many other races. Why weren't they shielded by the Urquan? That is a good question, actually. Why weren't the they? The Urquan knew it would be a fatal mistake to fight against us, so they did wisely to ignore us. Ooh, so these guys are quite powerful then. That's not good. So we've only got one Shamur ship against these guys. Oh god, that's not great. Okay, well the top one's not going to do anything, so let's just see what he says to the second one. I don't really know what that's meant to be. In the back of your mind, can't you? Somehow, you always felt we were watching you. We know more about you than you can possibly imagine, Hero of Sumatra. Okay, well either that's a bit of role playing I meant to do on my part, or a reference to something that I'm not aware. I'm not really sure, um, but I am famous. That's that's not surprising. I destroy the Sumatra, but I can imagine quite a lot. That is true. That is true, knowledge is power, but uh, either way, we did actually completely obliterate the Urquan, we destroyed the Sumatra. I've got the Shamur ship right here, let's go one on one, let's just, I'm going to destroy you, so I don't even know why I'm scared of you at all. You are not as powerful as you would like to believe. If we wanted you dead, we could have let the Mycon destroy your world a thousand years ago. You are nothing to us. Well, I guess that is true. Yeah, that is sort of true, I guess. Maybe these guys are quite are quite powerful then. Humans, peaceful, 
Is that what you really think? When the rest of humanity was locked inside a slave shield and had but the meager resources of your Earth, your species practically killed each other fighting over the scraps. You would surely have died within two generations had you not been emancipated by the Shimmer. You shall not pass. Right, okay, whatever you say, this is your last chance for peace. Okay. Even if you run, you will help spread our message. Too long we have ignored the sector of space. Let it be known the Lurg are back. The Lurg are back? When, w when were they ever in? When were they ever doing anything? I've never heard of these guys before. These guys were so close to, like, the Pekunk. I mean, how, you know. Surely if these guys are really powerful, they would have had a massive sphere of influence, and at least would have seen them in Star Control 2. And also, I'm pretty confident that wasn't their homeworld, in a way, because most homeworlds have, like, infinite, like, bubbles of ships. These guys only had three, so if I'm not mistaken, we'll only have to kill three of these ships. I mean, what the hell, am I damaged by these things? Because these are horrible. Oh, okay. That was actually a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. Okay. How are these all powerful? They must be powerful in some other way. Maybe they've got loads of stuff. Because these, maybe they're like the Oak one, they've got like a special weapon or something. Because they are so bad, do we just destroy another one? One more to go, I think. What? These are terrible, guys. They're absolutely terrible. The Lurg Prawn. Against, I'm against Arg. He's another one that's going to go down. They've got a terrible weapon. I don't seem to be damaged by those bubbles, either. That was really easy. <laughs> It hardly took any damage, I took three of them down. Wow, so that was it. 250 RUs, so how how much is that worth then? It's 12.5 RUs, so it must be, it's worth 20 points. It didn't seem like worth 20 points, it seemed pretty bad, really. Anything on the surface? Oh, energy! There is an energy down there. Have they beat. Is this a Shafixty ship that they've destroyed? I don't understand how these guys could be so much better than the Urquan. Oh my god, that looks like our old ship. Is that seriously our old ship? No, it can't be. No, I don't think it is. It looks so similar to it, though. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's see what this is. I have a feeling this is going to be get, uh, really bad. Not good at all. <laughs> this is going to be quite bad. We're going to get killed by this. I just know it. They've probably used this to destroy everyone. Captain, we've discovered the wreckage of what seems to have been an enormous spacecraft. Oh my god, if this is actually our ship. Only partially above ground level, it is lodged firmly in the terrain indicates that the thing has been here for hundreds or probably thousands of years. Okay, so it can't be our ship, and also our ship was destroyed by the explosion next to Samatra. Because of that, the ship is in surprisingly good condition, apart from a four meter wide black, uh, crate, uh, blackened crevice in the left side. Okay, this hole, we're going to enter this hole to get into the ship interior. We have discovered a worrisome detail in the cargo holes, okay. Spanning, oh god, here we go. Spanning across the entire hole lies a gigantic spheral black orb. Is it a black hole? Perfectly smooth and shiny on the surface. Bears the hallmarks of precursor because It does look precursory, doesn't it? It keeps changing its hue from deep black to a darker shade of black. Okay. So it was breathing. The walls are badly melted. Sandwich so seems to have occurred more recently than the demise of the ship itself. That's strange. From the surroundings, we figured the Shafixti patrol must have accidentally set the thing off. Oh god. It just lies dormant now. That's not good. So the Shafixti were killed by this thing. That's not good. Since we have no idea what caused it to become operational, we should just leave it alone for now and returning with more brain power. Oh god, okay. Surely we want to, like, keep take this with us? No, we don't want to do that because then the whole uh, Starbase and Shimmer Prime will go down. Oh my god, what the hell is this then? That's really weird. Okay, well, there we go. I guess we can't really do much more than that. Let's just go back and, uh, oh, uh-oh. 